This is where you gas up, right here. Just a quick release valve. That you press to put on natural gas or turn it off natural gas. That's all there is to it. 600 psi and brings it down to about 60 or 70 psi, so it reduces the pressure dramatically. Um, two things: you got coolant lines running to this because as you take gas and you shrink it down, the pressure and when it goes into from high pressure to low pressure, it creates a cooling effect. Here's where the, the low pressure gas comes out and literally into your own set of fuel injectors. So this is just like a fuel injector on a car. Um, it releases the natural gas and it's going to come down and it plums around. This is directly into the air intake and you've got one, two, three, four. All that's doing is allowing these to work and it levels it allows it to regulate the amount of natural gas going in. So literally all you're doing is plumbing it into the air intake and it directly goes into the motor with the diesel. What the computer program does is takes the amount of diesel fuel, makes it less, and makes the natural gas more. It also monitors exhaust temperature, it monitors transmission temperature, so it is actually monitoring the temperature on the vehicle so that if it gets too hot, it backs off the amount of natural gas. Does that make sense? So it's like a fail safe. Okay, the natural gas is when the orange is lit, correct? Yeah. Hopefully Linden City's not patrolling down here right now. <laughs> They, they really patrol that yeah. that section down there. We'll go this way. I think that would give you a good little reach right ahead. All right, so here we are in natural gas. <laughs> yeah, you can feel a difference. How much into that pedal are you? Are you pretty deep I was, into it? I floored it all the way to the floor. Okay. So how would you compare the performance between the two? Um, it actually was a little bit smoother with the natural gas when it was shifting, it seemed to be. Didn't have such a kind of a big kick there. I want to feel that again. Let's hit that again and see what, because it really, I can feel it in the seat. I know it sounds silly, but I feel myself being pushed back. I actually felt the back tires break loose just a little bit. <laughs> that gravel there? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. You, you envision natural gas, just any different fuel, just because of your mindset. Everybody thinks, oh, it's going to be sluggish, it's going to do something different. And you look at this, it's like having a chip vehicle. I think you heard me coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another thing you notice is that we're not throwing all that smoke. You know, traditionally a diesel, when you get on it that way, and uh, it starts to throw the emissions quite a bit, throw the fuel, and we're not throwing un unburned smoke, and so that's a, a huge additive for folks also. So I think it's, uh, it's a winner today. Uh, and I think they're going to get really tough on the guys that are chipping their diesels and blowing that belching all that black smoke, so that's uh, absolutely that's got to be a positive. I think that uh, the performance is there, uh, the savings is there. CNG converted diesel pickup truck. What was your experience like? Uh, it's like super chipped. It pick up and go. So did it have lesser or better performance after you went over to natural gas? Um, better, lots, lots better. All right, that was sweet. <laughs> that was, I, I've had F-350s that I've chipped, and that was a lot better than a chipped F-350. So once I went to natural gas, they kicked in, and it was about, it was more than what I expected. So I'm real pleased with it, and I'll be putting one in my truck just as soon as I can get one in. That's the cool thing about it, is it flew.